y'all know this shit about to end. Yeah, y'all gonna be in the house eating Christmas tree ornaments. Uh, they, they gotta shut this shit down. This is this is bad. I'm, I don't even talk to my cat. I'm like, bro, you got to fucking go. You, you look at each other. I don't know. Then it's like everything is just like thrown off, man. You know what I'm saying? We is no dates anymore. He's like, is today Saturday or July? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> This, everything is just fucked up now, man. It's, it's fucked up. I'm tired of it, man. Then we had an election. That shit lasted like for. And they still got, I got ballots in my fucking car, man. And they're like, Biden, Trump. That shit is crazy. And they, and they was waiting on PA. Uh, the Philly, really, Philly. They was, <laughs> uh, shit, I. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's over now. Uh, it's, it's over and we still in the house. We still going to eat ornaments. So I hope you all learn something from that. This is dope, man. We come here every time I come to Chambersburg. Um, I, I see we got some new stuff here. Um, what happened next door? You got a, a restaurant just came, popped up? Woo! Yeah. 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 shit going to be closed now. So I'm going to make it through COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you come back, that shit going to be a Walmart. Yeah. Fuck out of here! This, all this shit gonna be going on. I'm gonna take some of these runs or something with you. This is this shit about to end. This shit was like a Michael Jackson video, long as shit. Get y'all the fuck out of here! This is crazy, crazy, crazy. My um, my mom been acting funny since this COVID shit. So I went to her house. She was like, "How you been?" And I'm like, "I'm in the door watching you." <laughs> like, like I called her, you know, because I, I make surprises. That's my mom, you know. And I, I stopped over to check her out, and I had just came back from New Orleans, and she had already told me, "Don't come back here, and come over here when you come back from New Orleans." But I, that's my mom, so I went over. I was standing on the lawn. I was looking right at her, and she said, "Hey," I was like, "Hey," she was like, "When you get back?" I was like, "Like this morning, I had to come right here and see you." You know what I'm saying? She like, well, I'm not home. I'm like, I'm looking right at you. She walked up and pulled the fucking curtain down. Then the phone cut off. I was like, this wow, shit, crazy. Traveling been crazy too, man. I I settled in New Orleans. I was comedy related. Um, any of y'all ever been on Spirit Air? Yeah, that shit crazy. That shit like public housing in the sky. Bro. That was the scariest shit of my life, bro. These motherfuckers lost the luggage going in and coming. I had bought new shit and lost it. And I get off the plane, the pilot had my jeans on. I'm like, bro, come here for a minute. Come here. No, let me talk to you real quick. Besides it's... It's that shirt. Right. Young chicks, man. Y'all y'all, all right. Y'all just... Y'all can't really cook. I had a young chick making some spaghetti. This shit had bones in it. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't in the kitchen. I was just like, fuck. How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> you on Pinterest? Like, what the, who told you to do this? <laughs> I know. I know. That's how I was at. I gave that shit to my cat. You know how? Um, no, I did. I did. My, my cat eat bones. He a black cat. He been bones. He eat bones since he was born. He ate another cat one night. I said, you ain't that whole cat. He ate all nine of his lives, too. He said, like, shoot that motherfucker up. Cats fuck it. I hate cats sometimes. You ever have a cat? Um, like, you have a, like a little mouse problem shit in your house. Some of y'all are like, no, I never had him. Shut the fuck up. So, you have a mouse problem, the cat found a mouse, and then he want to play games and shit. I'm like, bro, eat him. Like, I, don't, I guess they don't eat him. You just play with him, you smack their fucking head off, and then go get the head. Hold him in his mouth and walk up to you like, <laughs> and that's where the coronavirus started. Like, cats, no, you know where the coronavirus started? And the Chuck E. Cheese in that ball pit. That's where it just started. Little fucking little Spanish kids drooling all them balls. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, that was racist. Y'all just laughing at shit too. Like, I'm part, I'm part Spanish. Well, I'm part Jeep Cherokee. I'm not all Spanish. <laughs> Jeep Cherokee in my blood, I'm four by four out this place. Not to be confused with Wendy's, four by four, four. Four by four. Like it's, it's a little different. My son texted me too. This dude need to lay down. I told him to go to a new restaurant. <laughs> hey, this dude, come on, man. Yo, do they have a uh, downtown here? I always ask that when I come. And then people yeah. like, get the fuck out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where's that? 
Downtown. I don't know the fuck he was going to say. <laughs> Making my way downtown. I knew he was going to say downtown. I knew it. How far is it from here, though? I mean, I know there's nothing going on there. Two miles. Two miles? Okay, so we can walk. Yeah, yeah. I'm not fucking walking. This thing got cold, man. I had the uh, fucking soda pant part back on my jeans. I made some cut off jeans short with my brother James. That shit's embarrassing. All that tape and staples and shit. Don't walk behind me. You know? Why is he Frankenstein? But no, behind my lady look like them G.I. Joe men and shit. Like, that's where I put the knees back. Oh, shit. You got air fryer, bro? That is the shit. Fuck sex. You had to get your hair fryer. Man, I made a burger in 20 seconds. It shit still had blood in it, but it was a good fucking burger. It was a 20 second blood burger. I was fucking that shit up. You know what got me them fucking infomercials, man? I was up late as shit. Um, probably buying drugs or some shit. And I got in the house and the dude was all on TV all hype. Like, guys, let's do this. And the chick. Um, I don't even fucking know her name. Let's give her a fucking name. Valerie came out, and Valerie was like, oh my god, Dan, this is great. And he didn't even talk to her. He just was like, I'm going to show you something. And he took a, uh, a loaf of bread, and he dropped it inside the air fryer. Yep, a whole loaf. And then he took a whole chicken. He, the shit was still alive, and he dropped it inside the fucking air fryer. Now, at this point, uh, she's just standing back looking. She don't know what the fuck to do. The same look you got us, the same look everybody in the crowd had. And then the time did this little thing like this and shit. And while they was doing that, they were selling you all kinds of shit. Call now, you get two or six or eight. That's why I got like five of them in the fucking car. And, and then um, he popped the shit open and a Popeye's chicken sandwich came out. I said, this is too much. I, I ain't even high yet. This is crazy. I joke about my son, but my, uh, my son, I feel bad for these kids now, man, this virtual school shit, man, this is, this is fucking crazy. Uh, Lord Chromebooks was for porn. What the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Anybody got a kid in virtual school? Yeah, so that means technically you're like a teacher in the house, you're a teacher, right? Yeah, my son was acting up last week. I wrote him a fucking note. I was like, yo, you take this shit home? And you tell your fucking dad I'm fucking sick of you, bitch. And I put it right in his chest. He walked off, shut the door, came back in the same fucking room. I was still standing there. And he said, the teacher wrote a note. <laughs> my dumb ass, I read this shit like, dear parent. Because <laughs> you gotta make this shit seem like real school. Man. So at least let me change my clothes first. Man. Yeah, that shit's crazy, man. That's crazy. Because I remember school, man. My, my son going to go to high school if he get out the car, but um, <laughs> he's going to high school next year. And I, I remember high school because that was like the first year we could like grab ass and shit and then run. Like I still had that speed, you know what I'm saying? I was good. Then I started drinking chocolate milk and that shit slowed me down a little bit. You know, they started farting shit in the 80s. Um, but uh, yeah, shit, long story. But anyway, um, the experience of school, man, these kids really need that, man. Seriously, they, they need to be in school. They need to be learning. They need to be... Um, touching women, they need to be doing things that to build their character, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and then it, it, it's so crazy when you try to talk to them, and right now we're in sensitive times, like, so we didn't celebrate, what was it, Columbus Day? Or something like that? Columbus Day was not a national holiday because they said um, he didn't discover Tupac or whatever the fuck happened, and now um, we have to think about the people that were here before Columbus. But let me tell y'all something. Let me let me tell y'all this. You can write this shit on those white tablecloths. <laughs> the Indians were not the first people in America. I, I just want you to know that. You know who was here before Adam and Eve? All the way up to LeBron won the uh, MVP in the finals? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman <laughs> discovered America. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this shit. And then a long time ago, he discovered Eastside High. <laughs> you know the school song? Oh shit. You got singers in the building. <laughs> somebody trying to upstage your wife back to this. Couple of them drinks in them. Like, Follow me. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm Gary cut out of here, man, because the shit I'm doing right now is illegal. Uh, Y'all have been a dope, dope crowd. Uh, I always love coming to Chambersburg, man. I usually get here like three times a year. Um, 
been on probation, but this time um, I'm, I'm like embracing all this because of the pandemic and the fact that we really couldn't leave the house and all that shit. And I'm planning on moving up here because I don't want to pay my gas bill back at home because black people will move houses to not pay a bill. Was, like, like four Comcast houses in Philly. Uh, no, I mean, y'all been a great crowd, man. Please give it up for your host.